This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines on this Thursday. Here are some of the latest numbers of the coronavirus cases in the state of Illinois in the last 24 hours. There are 288 cases while in Missouri. That number has gone up to 24. Yesterday, we learned about the first positive case in St. Charles County. There was also another new case in St. Louis City, bringing that total to two. There are now five cases in St. Louis County and in the Metro East, three in St. Clair and Clinton counties. The GM plant in Wentzville will soon shut down because of the outbreak. The big three automakers, GM, Ford, and Chrysler, are buckling the union concerns about employees being in close quarters as the government stresses social distancing. All U.S. auto plants will close for at least the next two weeks. Bars and restaurant owners across our area only have a couple more hours left to welcome customers for a sit-down meal. The order kicks in at 12.01 Friday morning. It covers St. Louis City, St. Louis County, as well as St. Charles, Franklin, and Jefferson Counties. drive through and food pickup will still be allowed. Time now for a check of the weather and uh, some severe forecast for us, Kent. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got a couple of threats, beginning with the uh, flash flood watch that went into effect this morning and remains in effect until 1 o'clock tonight in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning on Friday morning. And that's for the southern and eastern counties from the metro area. And you can see it's the southeastern half of our viewing area, let's say, under that. And that's where we have the primary threat for severe thunderstorms as well. There's a slight threat elsewhere, but the primary threat, the, the, the highest threat, I should probably say, is the southeastern part of the viewing area this afternoon into the early evening. So the super predictor pushes that big area of rain through this morning. And then in this afternoon, the storms become much more cellular. Notice how they're just kind of streaming through that southeast half of the viewing area, mostly. I mean, we could have some exceptions to that, but this is where the highest threat is. Any one of these storms, when they peak out as they're moving through our area, have the potential to produce damaging hail and winds possibly tornadoes as well. Now the good news is by later tonight they are gone. No severe threat overnight tonight, but 74 degrees with afternoon and evening thunderstorms that could be severe. Uh, if you have to travel today, if you're not quarantined and if you're not locked in, uh, be careful because we could see these strong storms later this afternoon. That ends tonight. Temperatures will be falling from the 50s in the morning through the 40s during the day tomorrow, and it looks like a chilly weekend with lows below freezing and highs in the 40s.